Pluches. Yo guys, it's Corrales and welcome to Fade the Beast tutorial, okay? So, for those who saw my Fade the Beast episode yesterday, I was trying to make a sorting system using routers and barrels. All that for my queries, 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 doesn't matter, <laughs> just take it for what it is, you know, me and words, don't go hand in hand. But after the episode, a subscriber sent me this cool, neat design, which I thought, like, I'm gonna share this with you guys. Mm -hmm. We're gonna build it. I'm gonna put the full list of materials needed in the description, so just check it out. And the Nempevs, buddy, thank you for sending the design. I owe you big time. With that being said, guys, let's get craft. Okay, so let's start. The first thing which I've done, as you can see, I put down some barrels and some common materials found in quarries, quarries, <laughs> just ignore that. And I know there's a bunch more, but this is a good start, so, you know, you don't have to have this hole here, by the way. This is just for me, so I can show you this more easily, I guess. Put down the router, and I'm gonna use three upgrades on the router. I'm gonna use the machine filter upgrade, speed boost upgrade, and bandwidth upgrade. So just shift click those babies, into the router and if you click the router now you can just see the first one is into top sides which is great if we flip this this is the machine filter put that to barrel like this and the rest is just default because bandwidth and speed doesn't really do anything like there's no settings for it and the next step is to take your filters put one filter facing from this side which faces the machine or the router this way so you can see the yellow one and i'm using the default texture pack because you know Normally I'm using the Sfax one, but everything looks different, so I thought like, I'm gonna just use the default so you guys can see how this looks. The next filter will be placed from this, as you can see. The yellow thing faces the router from this side, but the yellow thing faces that side from this, or the black thing faces the router. And the next step is to place down an ender chest. You could have just a normal chest if you're gonna use Tesseract, but I'm gonna put down an ender chest like this. So now we got a timer and a repeater. So take your repeater and put it from here. So it looks like this. Awesome, right? Now the timer like this. You can even place it like this. I don't think that matters to be honest, but just put it so from above, this is the design. Transport pipe, you can use like whatever pipe you prefer. I'm just gonna use a stone one. And on this bad boy, we're gonna place a normal gate. That should be set to inventory empty and redstone signal. So that is pretty much done, right? Now comes the fun part. Red alloy wire and a cobblestone jacket wire. You can use whatever you prefer. So first of all, put down your alloy wire like this and the jacket cobblestone wire or what else, whatever jacket wire you got like this over that. You know, I'm gonna pause so you guys can see, you know, important stuff going on. All right, so we got some pneumatic tubes. We got one normal one and one redstone one. The redstone one you should put here. And as you can see, that connects to that, to the jacket uh, wire and the normal one at the end here. I'm just going to use a crystal chest because that's bigger and we can see the items going in. So we can know this is our overflow chest. So whatever material is not here, going to be put here. And as well, if the, uh, if the router don't keep up, those materials will be sent to this chest. So you know that. You can even put them like, you can put more of them, oops, if you wanted like this let me see do i get some more pneumatic tubes i don't so let's just fix that this is just in case you know you're gonna leave your quarry unattended and something might break you might want to have more overflow chests like this and this is actually pretty much done the only thing we need to do is the timer set that to 0.2 seconds and as you can see, this is empty at the moment, so it doesn't do anything. Now we got quarries. We got two quarries here with ender chest, and we got two with tesseracts. So you know what? First of all, we're gonna try out those with the ender chest. So let me just take a redstone energy cell next to that, and next to that. Miracles. 
<laughs> I just love this. I love Feed the Beast. Feed the Beast is awesome. So let's see if this works. As soon as there's items in this chest, this should start um, spinning around and this will start pumping out items into the barrels. And we're going to try out how many we quarries we can use. This is like, as you can see, the speed on them. That is pretty fast. I think the biggest problem will be cobblestone. Because there's going to be a lot of cobblestone. But as you can see, it is working just great for now. It's putting in the, in the gravel into here, the stone into here. And everything is working out pretty amazing, right? Let me see if this keeps up. As you can see, the biggest problem is the stone. But so far, so good. It is keeping up. So we have no problemas whatsoever. No items in the overflow chests. Just good. There's gonna be some because I don't have like every item possible from the quarries here. So there's gonna be items which we can just take later on, put a barrel, put that item in and we're done. But as you can see, this is working pretty nice. Now, if we're gonna use Tesseracts as well, I'm gonna use like you can use, for example, if you want to filter, because I, I, don't, I don't know, you know, we're going to have a lot of stone. And I mean, how much stone do we actually need? So let me see here. I need a diamond pipe and I'm going to use a void pipe as well. Void pipe. Void pipe. And from this bad boy, from the Tesseract, I'm going to put it down here. I'm going to put the diamond pipe and the void pipe on top and that's like a white setting on this so let me see do i get any stone no i don't now i got some stone oops so here on the white one i will just or grayish to be honest i'm gonna put stone because i don't want that much stone we could even put dirt if that's a problem for us but i'm not so as you can see those two quarries are going so let's set those babies up and those should be connected, connected to Keralis. Keralis. So let's just set this as well to Keralis. Bam. Keralis. Select. And here we're going to have receive only mode. And let's see if we can keep up four quarries on the same router. I'm not sure this is going to work. But I mean, usually I myself have at least like two quarries running. And that is about it because they're much bigger than this. So now we got all four running. Let me see, are we keeping up? As you can see, all the stone is being void piped here, which is pretty awesome. And this one is still keeping up. So that is pretty good, guys. As you can see, we got some items here in the overflow chests, just because I don't have any barrels for those. So for example, if I want to take this, we don't have anything for Tinor. So let me just sort out everything here. We need quartz crystal and we need a quartz dust barrel. So I'm just going to put those here. And all the barrels need to be connected. So I need to put a barrel here. And as you can see, the first block which is placed here is cobblestone. Doesn't matter really, because this is just to show you guys that this will work. You can just take that out and put some other material in really quickly not being in creative mode though because that breaks the block it is still keeping up so we are still good guys and i mean the speed on those bad boys it is pretty fast right holy snapperoni look at this <laughs> we got a we got cool stuff below here stuff you find pretty awesome how is it doing? Still keeping up. But usually, like, I myself have, like, two quarries running. And with two quarries running, wouldn't be any problem whatsoever. And you could just void pipe. Like, you could just use Tesseract, right? And void pipe all the stone. You could just put a crystal chest in here instead of the ender chest. But I guess the ender chest is pretty cool. Because then you can use just an ender pouch. And ender pouch your items back to the sorting machine back at base. But it's working, so we are, like, happy. Guys, you know what? Since this is working, it is keeping up. No, no problemas on four quarries. I think the only thing is, like, if we didn't void pipe the stone from the Tesseracts, it would just overfill, to be honest. But who needs that much stone? I don't. You do? I don't know. 
But nevertheless, guys, hopefully you enjoyed. Nempev's buddy, thank you very much for this cool design. And uh, guys, boys and girls, I will see you in the next Fate the Based episode. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this little design and uh, hopefully you can use it, right? Take care and bye-bye.